The EKU Colonels made the trip to Knoxville, Tennessee to face number six, University of Tennessee on Wednesday night. This was the first time EKU has traveled to Knoxville since 2005. This was also Nick Mayo's 100th career start for EKU. Senior Nick Mayo goes up for the dunk but gets blocked by the Tennessee defender. And the crowd goes crazy afterwards. Then Tennessee comes down the court and gets an easy layup on the other end. KU on offense now, and they shoot a three and hit it. Freshman Jamaru Brown runs down the court on fast break and gets the layup and one. The freshman finished the game with 14 points. Brown shoots the free throw and it goes off the back iron. Tennessee collects the ball, and then down the floor, alley -oop dunk for the Volunteers. Tennessee gets the block, and they're on a fast break again, and that leads to a wide open slam dunk. EKU calls a timeout. The score is 40-23 with 3.59 left in the first half. EKU heads into the locker room at halftime down 21 points at the University of Tennessee. The second half started with a near turnover by the Colonels, but somehow Nick Mayo gets the ball back and slam dunk for the big guy. Nick Mayo had a great game. He scored 23 points and had nine rebounds in the game. EKU fell in this game 95 to 67. EKU's next game will be this Saturday against High Point in North Carolina. We learned, this is the best thing about tonight is we learned because we preach like crazy, you gotta compete on box outs. You can't just box out, you gotta drive back and really compete. And, you know, sometimes you don't learn until you get in, the, in that type of battle. But Tennessee's got a great team. They got, you know, a lot of experience. They're physical, they're tough. Uh, they got a good team, but we learned a lot. And I, I was happy, we did a lot of positive things. You know, we were able to force 16 turnovers. We got 52 deflections. We did some really good things. We gotta quit killing ourselves with our turnovers though. Guys, if you guys know any type of answer, shoot me an email. Excited, we got another great opportunity on Saturday. We got to go on the road to High Point. They got a pretty good coach named Tubby Smith, so we got a, we got a huge uh, challenge on our hands there. You were tied about seven minutes into the game. They go on like a 21 to three run. Just what kind of change there during that stretch? Offensive rebounds, turnovers. You know, we stepped out of bounds three times, you know, and, and you know, just simple mistake. We didn't handle adversity well in the first half. Then we come back in the second half and we, we do a lot better job. It was 46-39 and I thought, I thought we did some really good things. We knew this and we knew this was going to be a huge challenge. I mean, they're really, really good. I mean, they're a top five team in the country for a reason. Uh, but I was proud of my guys. We competed. And we got so he's a once in a lifetime player. Uh, I'm the luckiest guy in the world to be able to coach him for a year. I'm going to enjoy him second of it. You guys should have seen him in our timeouts when we're down 27, 28 points. I mean, he was positive. He was, you know, coaching the guys up with me. I love that kid. I'm so proud of him. And he, he comes out and has a really good game. Didn't shoot it great from the three. But, you know, anytime a guy can, you know, get 23 points and go 10 for 10 from the free throw line, you know you got somebody special. But he's the best. Look, he's, I think, He's like 72 points away from being an all-time leading scorer, so that'll happen pretty soon. He's averaging about 25 a game, so you know, keep that alert on.